as a wedding DJ, you will discover not every gig is going to have a slam dunk, absolutely packed dance floor. There are several reasons for this. One of those being number of guests. At small intimate weddings that only have 25, 35 people, you're not going to get 40 people on the dance floor constantly all night. Hello, it is Thursday the 20th of June 2019 and uh, the sun's come out and tonight I'm going to be DJing in a castle. Okay, we're all set up. Let's have a little look at what we've got. Um, layout spread out because of the size of the room. Got uh, DXR12 up there. Got another Yamaha DXS, DXR12 there. Obviously got a doorway in between. Haven't got enough room to put everything in the middle there. So I've got the old tone wireless senders sending the signal over there. On the top of the uh, uh, Yamaha DXR12 is a Chauvet uh, uh, Wash FX2, which we like to get the ceiling tonight. Um, I've got a pair of uh, Duratrus uh, totems with white scrims. On the top of those are the ADJ um, Inno Pocket Spot Twins. Uh, at the bottom of the totems are uh, the ADJ um, Mega Tripar Profile Plus um, Par Cans, and I've got a couple of those at the back there. Um, I've got my uh, Equinox DJ booth. Inside, underneath the Equinox DJ booth, is an uh, ADJ. Uh, Ultra Bar 12, as is one across here, which will then send some light out. Um, over behind, I'm going to be DJing tonight on the uh, Pioneer XDJ RX. Um, I've got my uh, Pioneer headphones, SM58 microphone, and the Alto digital sender. Um, that speaker's actually wired because it's right next to me. Um, but yeah, so all set up, ready to go. I'm going to go home, get changed, and then. Uh, then come back a little bit later, we're all set up and I think, yes, that mean you can see, but out there, um, the bride and groom are actually getting married at the moment. Okay, I've gigged here a few times at uh, Round Castle and there are a couple of different layout choices um when they've got uh, giant love letters they go in front of the fireplace and when they're in front of the fireplace the, the dj has to go between uh, there's two doors uh, and it's a reduced area in space so i can't put my big wedding setup in that area which is fine um because what i do is i uh, i put a speaker the other side of one of the doors and also i put um totem the other side of one of the doors um, and what I do is I, I link that totem uh, for the moving head that's on the top with the moving head that's next to me uh, via donor uh, wireless DMX now if you want to find out a little bit about donor wireless DMX um, Funky Mike uh, YouTube channel that he has just done a video on wireless DMX donor transmitters and receivers where he's done a great set of testing so uh, you might want to pop across there i'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, uh, find it and go and view it if you wish to um i found it interesting <laughs>
show. So as you can see, that was just a small intimate wedding with about 40 guests. We also had through the evening a few uh, um, distractions. Um, for instance, uh, it was a lovely summer's evening, which was fab. And uh, the venue does have some fantastic outside uh, um, areas. And uh, also the uh, evening food um, is served outside as well. Um, so uh, guests were making the most of that. Um, after the, uh, the first dance, and um, I think it was around about 10 o'clock, um, then they had sparklers outside um, as well. Also, the venue does have some fabulous other areas inside the castle. Um, so there's, uh, there's places for you who can go and sit and, uh, and enjoy. Um, so additionally to um, the area where I am. So when there's only 40 guests and it's a venue where you could lose 180 people easily, um, it's difficult to uh, have that many people in um, constantly dancing. But hey, anyway, it was a lovely evening. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, the bride and groom said they had a great time, which is obviously the most important. And um, so to that, I'd like to say, if uh, you enjoyed it, it was a thumbs up. Uh, the other one works too. Um, you might want to consider subscribing if you haven't already to my channel. As you will see, I put regular videos out, uh, two a week at the moment. Um, so if you do subscribe, turn on that notification bell and turn on full notifications. Um, and uh, until next time, JP out.